emotions have, have, have run deep this week and we're not going to talk about the two scumbags and we're not going to keep this going for a long time through the show right because it's not what we're about and that's not being heartless or anything like that. I've got four children of my own and, and three grandchildren and one on the way um it, it, it's been a difficult week for everybody so what we're going to do is we're going to crack on with our show tonight um try and have a laugh as we normally do on a Monday and just dedicate the show to our fans. Well said, Nick. Well said. You, you can't, you know what, Chris, I'm, I'm nearly crying now. You can't say anything, can you? Hmm? No, it's, uh, it's, um, you can't say anything. I don't know. It's, it's, but you know what? I find it hard watching. So, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. What we what we got to do, I mean, look, and thank you, thank you, thank you to the whole football community up and down this country, even mm. Wolves and, 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 as I say, you know, I never say the two words together, Aston Villa, there you go, I've said it tonight. Mm -hmm. Probably, I think, the first time in 11 years on this show that I've actually said those two words together. Respect, mm -hmm. absolute, total, utter respect, and thank you from every single Birmingham City fan up and down this land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Jack in tonight, but I uh, don't think your microphone's on, Jack, because there's a little red uh, line through it. Oh, God, he's put it on. Oh, dear me. <laughs> he's a professional. Uh, he's a professional. Are you, you a professional, Jack? Mm. <laughs> I won't go that far. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not going to be honest with you. <laughs> um, right, OK, so there's no win at the weekend at Millwall. Uh, you know what? <coughs> Plymouth in the club at home. That's going to be a little bit of a Billy bonus, I hope. Oh, it's or it's going to be, you know, a banana skin. Who knows? We'll find out soon. Um, I didn't go to the game on Saturday. Chris didn't go to the game on Saturday. Paul didn't go to the game on Saturday. Mark didn't go to the game on Saturday. And Alan didn't go to the game on Saturday. But one of our members in tonight, ladies and gentlemen, did go to the game on Saturday. No, he didn't go to the game on Saturday. His name's <laughs> Jack Stables. And at the start of the show, Jack, we want to understand why you travelled to Millwall and didn't get into the game? Off you go. The floor is yours. It's Jack Stables. <laughs> it's 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 not it's not as big a story as uh, as you might. We think yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> no. So so basically, we we me and a handful of pals we go down to London once a year to, as a get together, a bit of a jolly boys outing, and it just so happened to land on the day the Blues played Millwall away. Um, so you know, in the build up. You know, talking to a few pals of mine that are Millwall fans, some blue noses, just weighing up, look, do I grab a ticket, do I not? And and ultimately, you know, got closer to the event, managed to kind of secure some tickets. And the oh, sorry, started. sorry, 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 Jack, I'm going to interject. <laughs> managed to kind of secure some tickets. Oh, what God. is kind of secure some tickets? I got hold of someone that had some, had some going spare. And I was going to kind of just play it, play it on the day. So... We started the day pretty early. Um, you know, it's a yeah, it was an all day pretty much. Okay, so, so we, 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 I, just, I just want to clarify this for the humans <laughs> out there, mate. Right? We started the day early. 
uh, enlighten us what started the day um, early means. <laughs> eight, eight, eight o'clock, which is probably not as early as some would feel it, but yeah. Uh, uh, so what were you doing at eight o'clock? <laughs> That's early for Nick. In Weatherspoons in Solihull. Oh, my God, what a horrible, vile, soulless <laughs> pub that is. <laughs> Oh, I love Weatherspoons. You must be the lowest of the low if you go to Weatherspoons. I love really? Weatherspoons. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get any chips, by the way. If anyone's been watching that thing on Facebook with the chip count, I don't know if anyone's seen that. But no, 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 no. Oh, no, I won't, I won't bore you with that. So we okay. started at Spoons, got on the train just past nine o'clock, um, you know, crate, yeah, a few beers each. And, yeah, we, we got down there. I mean, it's fantastic. So loads of Blues fans on the train in you know, high spirits, singing songs, flags everywhere. It was a great atmosphere going down. Um, but yeah, just, do you know what? It's one of those, really. I, I think having gone back, I'd have probably planned it a bit better. Um, yeah, a bit of an understatement of the year. But no, nah, you know, it was a great day. We, we got to a local sports bar. We watched all the football going on there. Got back towards the station in the evening. All the same Blues fans, same pub on the way back. Um, do you know what? We had a cracking day. And looking at the result, I mean... I was trying to, before tonight, I was thinking, what, what positives could we have taken from that game? Um, I don't think we had any injuries, did we, or suspensions? And I know that's saying a lot, but I don't know. It's, so I think yeah. that's a fair point, Jack, with the way the officials have been with us lately. Well, and this, this is it. Uh, you know, and, and as Blues fans, we have to try and take the positives, don't we? Because not every game goes our way. And I'll be honest with you, I mean, I was disappointed with the result. I think we can all be disappointed with the result. But at the same time, I think we've just got to start of realise where our ambitions are this season. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I'd take mid-table this season. I know others would disagree yeah. and say, look, we should be pushing, but I'd just take no relegation fight, to be honest. Yeah. I'd be yeah, very Jack, happy. Jack, <laughs> either no relegation fight or mid-table is an improvement mid, on mid, the last five years. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so, absolutely. You know, we're in a consolidation period. And until such time as we get rich, multi-billionaire owners... Um, and this is going across the world on Facebook. If it's anybody out there with loads of money, please come in and buy Birmingham City Football Club. Um, and t- until that time, and, I, and I, I can't see an end to this regime at the minute, um, but until that time, this is what we are. You know, we are a uh, mid-table championship team. Yeah, mm. mid-table. Got a face of, got a face of facts. Anyway, got to introduce you to the team tonight. Paul Hipkiss, ladies and gentlemen. Evening all. Mark Andrew Adams. Hello, everybody. Evening. He's, he's professionally shut his microphone up again, isn't he? Not, is it a cat meowing or something in the background? Or is it, I, no, I know what it is. It's his missus shouting at him. Uh. <laughs> uh, the one and only Mrs. Brown. Good evening. And from myself, good evening, greetings and welcome. And, of course, Jack Stables. Hello. Hello. Guest of honour tonight, you are, Jack. Um, unfortunately, Dan is on a for whatever reason, couldn't or didn't make it. Um, so we're going to scratch him from the list, ladies and gentlemen. First person to ever be scratched from the list. <laughs> Danny Sonner. Well, well done, you. Well done. Yeah, but like losing, losing, you know, and having three scored against you again. And, and I, I don't know, I don't know. What is it? What is it, do you reckon, Paul? Just think mm. on the day, Nick Millwall were better than what we were. They took their chances. Um, you know, we, we uh, only took one. Um I think the I think the defence is crying out for George Friend to come back. To be honest, absolutely, we're missing him. We're missing him. Do we him. know how, how far he is off? Do we? Do we know? He's on the bench on Saturday, isn't he? Bench Saturday. Oh, right. Okay. Well, listen, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm really sorry, guys. I have had like just a manic, manic weekend, so uh, it's been really difficult. Um, however, the money has been counted, <sighs> and somebody is very, very close. And if you want to go, I'm going to shut the doors at exactly. 8.45, and the last 15 minutes, right, at 8.45, if you haven't had a go, have a look on the Talk and Talk page, it's had hundreds of reactions. Mm-hmm. I've got an old, old ancient fire extinguisher, all my change goes in it every single night of the week, me and Sharon, and then usually on the 1st of December, we count it. We've to do it, uh, we actually counted it a week early this, this year because uh, of work commitments and one thing or another, and obviously commitments for yesterday. Um... Uh, it being uh, Sharon's lad's birthday, who was killed out in Afghanistan, and um, so it's been a it's been a, ooh, a bit of a harsh weekend from one thing or another. But the money was poured on the table. The photographs on the Tilt and Talk page. Have a look. Have a guess. 
you are not allowed to go one penny over. And we had somebody, I think, a year ago, Chris went six pence yeah, over. six pence. Six, yeah. Something like six pence over. And I said, no, you ain't having nothing. But we did give him a beanie out, didn't we, or something like that. <laughs> What, what have we got currently, Chris, as, as a prize now? Oh, we've, other... we've, we've got absolutely loads of stuff. We got, loads um, of stuff. So we got, so we got, we got shirt, so, shirts, uh, we got hats, yeah, we got yeah. oh, uh, okay, badges, so. we got all mugs. I, all I can say, Chris, is somebody is incredibly close. And I can't no, believe really. that, that somebody <laughs> is incredibly close. And, and I promise yeah. you, hand on my heart, there's only two people that currently you know how much money was in that old fire extinguisher. But it's there, the picture's on the Tilt and Talk page. Come back, gas. A bit of fun, ladies and gentlemen. I like fun. Fun, mm-hmm. fun, 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 fun. Uh, can I, can I, sorry, just before, can I also say, can you, can you please, uh, please share the stream as well this week? Um, we've got um, a nice prize for our picked sharer of the week. So just get sharing the stream. It's ever so easy. So of course, uh, you can do that. of course, mm-hmm. it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Like <laughs> oh, it's also, also, those wanting to see the um, the intro uh, that missed it, I'm, I'll play it at the end of the um, end of the show as well. So, I, there we go. We'll have to have a listen, Chris, because what, what whilst I'm on just my phone and I haven't got like another device with me, um, mm. I can't hear it. So, I'll, okay. I'll, I promise you, the second the show's over, I'll go back and uh, I'll have a look at that. Uh, yeah. at the Do we? Sorry, no Nick. Problem. Do we know if Gary Gardner's back on Saturday? Is he? So I don't, mate. I, I, Paul, I've been, I've been so busy this last week or two, mate. I've, You've I've done been... two, I think. Yeah. Done, done two. Coventry and Millwall is missed, hasn't he? Yeah. Got sent off. Got sent off. Alan, Alan question, question, question for Alan. Are you retired? Yeah. Me? Retired? Yeah. yeah. Very much so. Oh, you've got more time on your hands than I have then, mate. You do the research. <laughs> 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 I'm what? Uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah must uh, catch his catch his blog. That's every week. He missed, well. um, Mark, he missed Blackpool as well, didn't he? He missed Blackpool yes. as well. Yeah, Blackpool. So he, he, yeah. yeah, so he could be back Saturday. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Was it a four game ban or a three game ban? Does I thought it was four. Thought... But yes, yeah, so it's four for because he's but sent it... off twice, isn't he? So it's he's yes. they'll come back together the two sent sent uh, two suspended players. They'll come back on the same day. Mm. Okay. Okay, so that's not Saturday though, is it? Unfortunately, it's not Saturday now. Won't be Cardiff on now. Be the one after that, won't it? Can I take you back to 1976-77? Play a game from that era today, and there'll be 22 red cards. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. There you are. (laughs) Right, got to say a massive congratulation to England's uh, ladies football team. 20-0. 20-0. I was watching it in the vaults uh, last week. 20-0. Like, it was, like, incredible. Um, I mean, if you'd have had a tenner on that, I wonder what the bet, uh, the, the odds would have been, you know, uh, with Boyle Sports. Um, principal sponsors. Are, Phenomenal, uh, yeah. But, Nick, uh, what 20 was you've got 20-0. You've got a really, really tough take. I know, I know, like, the opposition obviously weren't that good. I mean, it was, like, chalk and cheese, wasn't it? But to it's score 20 game. goals in a game, pointless incredible. Game. And that young lady... That when that ball was kicked in her face and she went down like a ton of bricks, and you know what she did? She got straight back up. Mm-hmm. No rolling around for 40 yards. No, oh, referee hurts me, hurts me. She got straight back up. Men learn a lesson from that young girl. Yeah, mm. yeah, true. Mm. Uh, sorry, can I just quickly. Yeah. Can I also yeah. say that we've got the um, the draw tonight as well for the um, England, shirt, uh, yeah. England shirt and Craig Courtney will be joining us uh, yeah. later. That's good. That's good. You can still, you can still get Courtney tickets. Now, fixer, no. now, Craig Courtney is just, uh, uh, I, I'm, uh, I never stutter unless na, 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 Craig na, na. Courtney, Mr. Fixer, has just secured. You ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? Because I'm going to tell you. Okay. Alberto Tarantini <laughs> to come on the show. Except it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, I no, it has, wasn't. I, no, I bet no. he hasn't got the air nowadays. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Anyway, Jack, Jack. He won't come on. He still owes his rights to Solly Hall, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, you got a season ticket? Not, not this season. It's. I'll get to that a bit later. But we're. I'm looking to try and get one with me and the kids, all of us together. Um, right. yeah, they're yeah. quite young. Trying to. Yeah. How many children? Got two. Two. I've got a five-year-old and a six-year-old. Um, five and six. They're not too young, mate. They're not. Too exactly. Young. 
Exactly. You don't look, you don't look old as enough. The age, as the age. <laughs> you, as a dad, have got to take them down the blues. I promise you, the earlier, the better. Because my, my son could sit and keep right onto the end of the road before he could say, Mom. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so when was your first game, Jack? Um, so, I just want to give some clues as to what... So, I'll, so yeah. It was no, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, Jack. But before the show, we thought it was Millwall away. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, yeah, imagine. No, so um, I was four years old. Um, Brilliant. It was 1994. Oh, okay. It was Chris uh, New Year's Eve. So I think oh. 94 Christmas. Yeah. So Blackpool seven one seven one. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, used to that. I because I hate you. I absolutely hate you. How the hell do you know stuff like that? Oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Mate, my, my, I, I applaud your memory for really, really. Oh, dear me. My, my expectations of being a Blues fan, the bar was sat right up here from day one. And it's been disappointing. No, it hasn't really been disappointing ever since. But it was, it was, it was an interesting day because... I was four years old. Every time Blue scored, I'd be petrified because I was so little. Around, I was in the tilt and end. And we scored seven, didn't we? <laughs> so, <laughs> it was traumatic. <laughs> it was very traumatic. Um, but that was my first game. And, uh, yeah, I, I've been kind of hooked ever since. So yeah. I first took my lad. It was Cardiff. Cardiff at home, last uh, 2020. Remember one all draw? when we, Yeah. yeah. That, was his, that was his first yeah. game. And then we went into lockdown, didn't we? And that's yeah. why I'm kind of telling myself I want to get him back into it. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, he loved it. He absolutely loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and since, 90, from 1994 to now then, who, who would you say has been your favourite manager and favourite player? Oh, so, favourite, so, I, we, we sat in the cop. So, down that left-hand side, it's got to be Stanley, to be honest. Oh, he was just, yeah. he was just immense, immense. He's my favourite ever player as well, Jack, yeah. Um. Manager-wise, do you know what? You might, have to, you might have to come back to me on that. I mean, God, I couldn't. Yeah, I'll have to come back to me on the manager, but Stan has a well, really us, us, us stand us guys, me. Us older guys, uh, Jack, would go probably for Jim Smith. Would you agree, uh, Chris? Uh, yeah, I think he had yeah. the ball uh, we, yep. we, You know, Jim, Jim Smith. and we, We've always been Birmingham City, though, haven't we? We've always been, you know, um, yeah, not quite up there, yeah? Uh, you know what? We've had some good times, and we've had some mm. bad times. And we will. I think that's part and parcel. Part and parcel. Do you know what? Though no, that's that's what I love about being a Blues fan. Like mm. you know, it'd be boring if we won every game, wouldn't it? If you're going to yeah. a cup game expecting to win, you, you never know. Like we could play top know. of the league. We could we could play top of the league and smash them. We could get bottom of the league and get thrashed. <laughs> it's yeah. Just, yeah. just part of being a Blues fan, isn't it? Well, listen, what yeah. You know it. what? Is is two examples for you. 2011, Arsenal in the Carling Cup. Yeah, right. Mm, exactly. Yeah. And then, for those that remember, Kiddy Minster Harry is in the FA Cup. Yeah. You know, or or Altrincham, Nick. Altrincham. You know what? I knew the worst. Which one? Altrincham. Yeah, it was a horrible game. <laughs> when was horrible. that? One? Excuse me. 85. It was Ryan yeah. Saunders' last yeah. game. Yeah. yeah. On a ch- Tuesday night, wasn't it? Yeah. I was, I, was only always, like, I was only like eight or nine then, but yeah, I remember listening on the radio and, and just even as a little kid, I was just the next day at school, all the Villa, Villa the Albion fans were laughing at me. And did you have a beard then? <laughs> <laughs> no, what's your My girlfriend did? I, I don't. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't think that's why they were laughing at you, put, uh, Mark. I don't think that's why they were laughing at you. I'm willing, I'm willing to bet that that was the only time Robert Hopkins put one past David Seaman in his whole career. Really? Yeah, own goal, Hopkins. Yeah. I'll ask this to everyone. What's your favourite goal at St Andrews? And what's your best Blues moment in your life so far? Jack, do you want to start? Yeah, so best goal at St Andrews, I think it's got to be Craig Gardner in the semi-final against West Ham. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just electric, wasn't it, when that went in? It it just meant so much. It (laughs) meant so much. Yeah. Um, Uh, So, uh, by the way, I'm going with that one myself. mm. Yeah? Okay, Nick? Yeah, yeah, because... Best I can't blues remember moment. goals very much, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Best Blues moment, Jack, if you could go back and relive one moment. I think it would be Norwich going into the Prem for the first time in our history. Mm, yeah. You know, I was about yeah. 12 yeah. years old. It was... Yeah, couldn't couldn't beat that for me. Yeah. I'm Did you have you a beard then? I didn't have a beard, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, I think... Uh, 
not only my first ever game where I was with my dad, uh, but uh, look, and I, I love that moments, the Norwich moment and and the Carling Cup moment. But John Gale's overhead kick at Wembley in the 91 Leyland Dap Cup final was just, it's just something that just spills out of me. It's why I'm a Birmingham fan. Yeah, it was an amazing goal. Really good goal. Mm. Have you well, not seen it, Jack? Like Jack, you're a lot younger than I am, mate. Have you seen that goal? I have seen that goal. My parents yeah. had the highlights video and we used to watch mm. it quite a lot when I was little. <laughs> yeah. Good. I don't know. I don't know if it, I don't, I don't know if it's one of my favourites. Sorry, I was going to say, I don't know if yeah. it, don't know if it's one of my favourite. You know, I just remember that feeling when um, Andrew Johnson scored the, against Ipswich in the in yeah. the because uh, you knew yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. You knew we were going to Cardiff. Yeah. So that, oh that yeah, just, yeah. You know, that's when you ripped that, your shirt that, off, wasn't it? When yeah. you ripped your shirt off, yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, thought, yeah. I thought I thought that was a golden goal. I was still celebrating the, the win like about four minutes afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> and then they kicked off again. I'm thinking, she's coming on here. What's going on? <laughs> I think for me, a, a special day for me when we our first Premier League win at St Andrews when we beat Leeds. Yes, the Leeds one, yeah. Uh, that was a great, and I flew straight off to IB for after that as well. And there was a we played, we played like Brazil that day, didn't we, Paul? We did we, we, two great goals? Obviously, Dev with the one off the edge of the penalty box, and Damien. And Damien Johnson. And I flew out to IB for with the lads that very night after that game. And there was what like a load of Leeds fans. <laughs> when I got when I got there, there was a load of Leeds fans around the pool, and I'd still got my blue top on from being at the game, and they all oh, charged brilliant. me in the ball with my. I bet you stank. I bet you absolutely stank by the I time did. you got there. <laughs> I did, yeah, I did. <laughs> good man. Good man. That, uh, that Ipswich goal was I, – I, I never tired of watching that. No, I, I, I wait for him to kick it down the pitch and it just bubbles over his foot. Thank you very much. Another, you know, amazing, another amazing moment for me, Alan, was when the two teams came out when we played Liverpool and we drowned it out. You will never walk alone. Mm, we drowned that it that out. Was great, that was a great moment. I remember. Yeah. 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 It was a fantastic a moment. Well, I'm, I'm with Jack, though. Darren Carter's penalty for me. If I could go back and really one moment, Martins was obviously mm. very special against Arsenal. But for me, you know, just having to knock on the door so many times in the playoffs to try and get out the league to get in the Premier, with, to know that we'd finally done it, it was just unbelievable. When it was, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's real. It's real. Also, another one, another one that I can remember, and I don't remember much. Notts County when we beat them to stay up, and all of a sudden yeah. there were thirty thousand people on the pitch. And oh, on the man. roof, and what on the a, roof. <laughs> what a celebration that was! That was just unreal. Yeah, yeah they yeah. were on the they were on the old I, team I, I roof. Box of England glory <laughs> matches, right? Okay, and I, 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 I chucked all my matches on on the pitch, and then dug up a tiny bit of turf, and I had it in my pocket for about two and a half years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mad. mad. Uh, Mark, uh, Mark, Mark right. what's your best goal you've seen at St Andrews, and best, best my blues? Best goal at St Andrews. God. Um, I'm just trying to think of the last time we scored. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, was, that your, was that your best one, then? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, again, I, I, it's just such a, a hard question. Yeah. I did like, I did, um, I did like the Garden one, but also I thought Lee Bowyer's finishing that semi final was fantastic as well. Yeah. Goes back yeah. in the game. You know, one that sticks in my mind, John Sorrell against the Ipswich when Donaldson yes. like, on to him. That was on my birthday as well, that was. So that's why it's so special to me. That was one of the best goals, one of the best technical goals I've ever well, seen, Andrews. One of, the, one of the best solo ones, Paul, was Seb Larson against Sheffield yeah. Wednesday. Oh, oh what, uh, what, what, what yeah. a day that was. Yeah. A, another moment, not a goal, but another moment was the final whistle against West Ham uh, in oh, the yeah. semi-final. Yeah. Uh, oh man, that noise was just like oh, I've got so many goosebumps. It's untrue. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Right. Mm. And then I was looking, and even the main stand was stood up singing "K Sarah Sarah." We're going to Wembley, yeah. and the city is yours. The city is yours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I can just imagine the faces, the glum faces on all their supporters over the road. And then obviously they knew we'd got Arsenal, right? Okay. Oh, we're going to get the 6-0, aren't we? Yeah, they're all going to laugh. No, no. I tell you what, no. Prosperity, no. And I can't... I think, I'm not, I think, sorry, sorry, Mark. Sorry, Paul. I was going to say one of the most unique ones has got to be the Enkerman. For just oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A few people yeah. said that. Jason, yeah. Jason <laughs> uses staying that. Enkerman on yeah, goal, yeah, best yeah. ever at St Andrews. Yeah. It's just okay, so I was familiar. at work on Saturday morning. I was at work on Saturday morning. This chap come in, right? Blah, 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 blah. Cut long story short. I said, uh, what are you doing for the rest of the weekend? He says, oh, I'm going to Birmingham tomorrow. 
this, so this was Saturday. Right, I'm going to Birmingham tomorrow. I said, oh, what part? He goes, Aston. Oh. Uh, and I said, uh, I, I, I said two kind of words plumped together, which I can't repeat on the show. And uh, <laughs> he was one of their supporters. <laughs> and... Yeah. Oh, okay. you know, yeah. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to go old school Sad, here. Best goal. Born up, born Francis up. 35 yard free 35 kick yarder. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> Alan, I'm I'm so with you on that one, mate. I was. Oh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I've got Everybody, what's what on earth is he doing? <laughs> you know, he, he stood over the ball and he's going. Well, oh, what's he going to do? And he just ran up and smashed it. And it, John Burridge was in goal for Blackpool. He never saw it. He just whistled it in the net. Unbelievable. Mm. Isn't he one of the oldest players to play in the Premier League? John Burridge. John Burridge, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure he was, Paul. He was like mm. a bit 40 when he or something when he was still playing, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, having said that, Paul, right? When I said I'm sure he was, it's only because you said it that I've said I'm sure I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, am, I am asking, I'm not telling, I don't know. Oh, mind Paul, you, mind sure. you, Paul, I think uh, Peter Shelton must have run him close. Yeah, yeah. I met Peter Shilton. I met I met Peter Shilton in Derby. Right, uh, we were at a, a Derby County function. Um, mm. my, my, my mate over the road, massive Derby fans. They used to sponsor Derby County. Yeah, they invited me over to Derby. I shook hands with Peter Shilton, and if they weren't shovels, I don't know what I've ever. Se- I've never yeah. seen a pair of hands so big in all my life. They were like they were like this. They were massive. I was like yeah. trying to get two hands in his one. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched us play Belgium with him again in the World Cup a few years back in the game. You know the game that didn't really matter because we'd already both qualified. Oh, yeah. We, we wanted to lose to finish second to get the easier route to the final, if you remember. And it was like a work event. Um, and that impressionist um, Darren, what's his name? Is it Darren Farley? Oh, what's his yeah, name? Yeah. Yeah, he was, yeah, he's, that's right, isn't it? Jack, Jack, Darren Farley, is that right? The guy Darren Farley, Jim, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was there as well. And he was he, doing, yeah, he never was that yeah, yeah. So, I um, met him. I met Ray Clements once. He's a lovely bloke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do, you know, remember when um, Benita Chuko scored the last game of the season at Blues? We drew Burnley. Uh, no. Uh, I, he, <coughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, no. Was, he was to the back of the main stand. <laughs> I just had a chat with him five minutes. Oh, right. Well, my dad, my, that was on my dad's um, 60th birthday, that was. Oh, was it? Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he led the teams out, yeah. Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And I think we won one 0 Mark. I don't think we drew. I think uh, we yeah, sorry, yeah, two scored. Yeah, we won one 0 Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, and Alan. Um, maybe, right, guys, I've got I've got a couple here. Uh, one is this is from Dom Kavanagh. He says Trevor Francis versus QPR in seventy seven. Yeah. And Cameron Jerome's wonder uh, yeah. goal at Anfield. Oh, yeah, Anfield. oh yes, forgot about yeah. that one. And um, Craig Courtney's just said uh, Larson's goal against Sheffield Wednesday is my goal. And moment Chris Woods in Bruges. Oh yeah. That's good. Uh, Seb Larson at Tottenham as well. Seb Larson's at Tottenham was a well do. Yeah, oh, I remember that. Game, what a strong sure, top corner. Yeah, yeah oh, brilliant goal. Yeah. We've, brilliant. We've, we've, we've still got to say though that Enkerman's goal was a world day. It <laughs> was a world day. Without a doubt. And anyone uh, remember? Anyone remember Tommy Mooney's against Norwich at home? Yeah, oh, God, Tommy Mooney. He was a tank. Yeah. He was a tank, Tommy Mooney, wasn't he? I was right yeah. behind that. I was right behind that in the in the cup, and it was what a strike that was! Great goal. And and Dev, uh, Devs against Wolves, two thousand and one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Volley, yeah. His best goal was at QPR when he chested it and volleyed it, wasn't it? I think. Oh God, yeah, yeah. That was a great goal. I, I don't, I don't remember this one. Damari Gray's curler against Leicester pre-season. Remember that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I yeah. 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 Oh yeah. well, I won't. <laughs> no, no. Talking of talking of Paul Devlin, actually, just want to wish him <coughs> eighty tonight doing the uh, CEO of Steve Patterson and Andrews. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And, and yeah. good luck to everyone oh, well else. Done. Well done, guys. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, make sure you wrap up. Yeah, it's going to be cold. Pat's doing one soon as well. Um, and uh, uh, well, she's coming up to see me actually on the eighteenth of December, ladies and gentlemen. Because, I'm doing uh, one now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's Arrow. freezing. It's freezing. <laughs> Arrow. Arrow. Oh, yes. <laughs> my, my sister's doing one, and uh, she's on the 18th of December, ladies and gentlemen. I'm having a little party up here. Um, of, of course, which all four, you know, all Birmingham City fans are invited to. And mm-hmm. I'm having a hog roast because it's my birthday soon. Hog roast? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. A, you can book name? hotels, you can stay at my house, it's an after party here. Um, <laughs> after party. Excuse me, laughing. 
Nick, but I just, I just, I just had this vision of there being a lockdown <laughs> the week before. <laughs> Alan, yeah, Alan, that happen, yeah, Alan, yeah. right now. I don't, I don't okay. mean that. I don't mean that disrespectfully. But... No, I know you don't, mate. I know you don't. You know what? You know what? I'm going to have to mention that I was born on Christmas Day, right? Being born on Christmas Day means because I grew up in the sixties. You never had a party, never, ever, ever had a party. Yeah. You had to stay in, right? And if you went to your auntie's or your uncle's house, you had to sit down and be quiet, right? You speak when you're spoken to and all that, right? Rules were different. There, been there. Mm. Rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you'll know it, Alan. I mean, you instigated it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then all, that, all, yeah. all, through, all through my DJing years, you know, um, of course, I did everybody else's parties, you know, so I've never had one of So I'm having a little bit of a blast this year, ladies and gents. And I said to the old bird the other night, oh, did you see that photograph I put on Facebook the other night? Oh, was yes, she soaking yeah, wet? Yeah, you <laughs> evil git. Evil git. Oh, Chris, what I'm what evil then? git, yet you put a laughing emoji on it. I know, yeah. It was funny. <laughs> I'm, sure you, Nick, um, I'm sure you've thought of this, Nick, right? But I've, I've, yeah. got, I've, I was, I've got a friend when I was younger and someone I used to know young, I haven't seen him for ages now, but... He used his, Christ, his birthday was on Christmas Day, and he used to have a party on about the 28th of December, and he called it his mm. birthmas party. Called it his birthmas ah, party. Right, that's okay. a good idea. Yeah. I, I might, I might have another one in the summer, to be honest with you. Um, and Chris Brown could get his barbecue out all over to Chris's. Like, I really hope that. your party goes, and is a great success. I really, I, I, I really do, and I, I just like hope that it isn't. Cancel. Okay, Alan, there's four things, right, that really, really hurt when you're born on Christmas Day. And if there's anybody out there, listen, they will actually know this, right? Number one, you open your card, it says, Happy Christmas and Birthday. Oh, you can't give me two yeah. cards. You can't give me two cards. Cheap. No? no. Number two, number two, Happy Christmas and Birthday. I'll buy yeah. something else <laughs> in 365 days again. One present. Number three, these are the two. As a child, these are the two that, that proper... Got ya, right? I've written your name on the Christmas cake and put some candles on it. Oh yeah. Oh, for one. You've got to one. see mm. see you've got to, you've got to think about this, right? Right. <laughs> and then the last one, right? And Sharon did this to me three years ago. I ran out of birthday paper, so I've wrapped your birthday presents in Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Look back on my Facebook the following year, I wrapped every one of their presents in birthday paper. Yeah. Every single one. That could be a thing, though, couldn't it? Happy Birthmas instead of, like, Happy Christmas and Happy Birthday. Just put yeah, the two together. Yeah. 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 Just going back to that, Alan, it doesn't really matter because he won't remember a thing anyway. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, Alan, Alan, Alan best, moments and best Blues moment, sorry, in your lifetime so far? Uh, can you Go back and relive one moment. It's probably, knowing Alan, right, it's probably having a, a hot cup of bob roll out of that guy that used to walk <laughs> around with this white boy <laughs> cloak on and that stuff. I don't remember I, that. I, the Ipswich goal was great because it was um, at last we've had we've had a stroke of good fortune. All the crap that we've put up with for all these years all got paid off in that one moment. But yeah. I think I, I have to say that the you know that stunned silence as that ball dropped at um, in, in in the final, uh, and you're thinking, what's happening here? He's got an open goal, and then he smacks it in the net, and you're you waiting for some. Wh where's wh why is there no whistle? Why you know? And and it's, it all that happened that went through my mind in a nanosecond, and then it's 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 a goal. It's a goal, you know, uh, unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Yes, Darren Carter's penalty was was great, uh, but you, you, you're still standing there. You're mm. thinking, please, please, please score. This was completely different. It was, it was just yeah, out of context, shock. <laughs> big shock. What's happened? Uh, wonderful, wonderful. It was like it was like time stood still just before Absolutely. that. Didn't it? It yeah. was Absolutely, like, we're all waiting for it. Yeah, yeah. For me, yeah. The, 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 the Darren Carter moment for me was like, what are you doing? Letting a child take a penalty? First, He's a yeah, kid. first reaction. He's a kid. What are He's you 17. doing? What are they doing to him? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, you know, Alan, yeah. I'll tell you what, mate. If, if it had missed, the pressure that would have been on that young man would have been horrible. It would have been immense. Yeah. yeah. The fact that he scored it, you know what? That will never be taken away from him. Not Absolutely. ever. But to be honest, Nick, we, we'd been through it with AJ the year before, haven't we, at the Worthington Cup. 
We thought, yeah. oh no, we go another teenager. But... Yeah, but we were robbed there. That was that was just yeah. theft. Theft. Yeah, it was. David it, it, David had a ring. I hate you. Yeah. yeah. Theft. <laughs> theft. <laughs> I don't know the linesman. The, the, well, the linesman should have picked it up as well. If David Ellery didn't see it, how did the linesman yeah, I don't know. have had a body in his way or something? I don't know. Yeah, but uh, don't, got... don't forget, David Ellery gave us the Enkelman goal. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Do you know what? If, if Enkelman had gone, I didn't touch it. I don't think that would ever have stood as a goal. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. He did. Probably I think not. he did. He was. What do you? He didn't. He didn't do a lot. Did he? Was everybody else? He was. Yeah. He, he looks. He looked so guilty. Uh, <laughs> you know, there was. <laughs> Is I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it, Alan, right after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a joyous moment. <laughs> I so just asked you to pick your um, strongest eleven, haven't we? From 1994 up to now, I don't know if you've had time Ooh. to even think about it. But interesting. Any idea? Let's start with the goalkeeper, if you can. If you thought about who your favourite goalie is in that time. So we've we've always been blessed with good goalies, haven't we? Like yeah, we just follow yeah. the blues. Um, I've got to give it to Foster, though. Uh, but again, take it back to the cup final. He was like a cat, wasn't he? He just yeah, he saved really... everything that went at him. So I think fozzy has got to be my my goalie. I've had to think about the defence as well. And I might have got two, two or three in the same position. So Martin Granger for me, left back. Um, yeah. King Kenny Cunningham, Matty Upson and Roger Johnson. is my. You would have put C. Bruce in there? No, before my time, Nick. Before my no, time. Right. Right. <laughs> Stephen Carr right back now. Ah, to be yeah. fair, that's a good shout as well, Carl. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, between him and Roger Johnson. Oh, yeah. So, George Cunningham, Johnson and Upson, who would be, is that like a back three? Oh, it'd be Granger as well. So you'd have, who'd be right back then, Cunningham? Oh, Johnson. yeah. Oh, Johnson. Yeah, Johnson. But yeah, I think Carl's a fair shout, to be fair, Paul, on that. My, my four in midfield, so Stanley, obviously. obviously. Yeah. Um, for me, Robbie Savage, Barry Ferguson and Jermaine Pennant. Right now, loud. Sort of that's, that's that's like okay. a that's like a, a like a, a military battalion in itself, <laughs> isn't it? It is. It <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. And then up front, it's got to be Christoph and Forsell for me. If I'm being yeah. honest, is that far off mine there, mate? You, you're pretty much the same as mine. I, I'd just have Seb Larson on the right instead of Pennant, and apart from that, it's the same team as mine. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. we've had some good players, haven't we? We've had some really good Ooh. players at down the Blues. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. we got and yeah. we got rid of them. <laughs> Who would you like, like you said, though, Sam, we have been so so blessed with goalkeepers over the years. Oh yeah, I don't think there's ever been a, a, a season or a period where we've had a really nap goalkeeper. No, I, no. I mean even, no. even we got a lot of stick, but I thought Lee Camp did all right for Lee us. Lee Camp really. in the <laughs> middle of a goal. Lee yeah. Camp. That was great. Yeah. And that <laughs> cardboard cutout in the main stand of it, brilliant. Unfortunately, brilliant. unfortunately, me and Alan remember uh, Gary Sprague. <laughs> ah, yeah, I remember that goal. Uh, <laughs> one thing I do remember about Gary Sprague was at St Andrew, in the cop, uh, and the ball came. It was not trickling, but like travelling towards him, and it just went literally under, underneath his chest. And uh, yeah, yeah, Gary Sprague. Mm. Gary Sprague, sorry. Perhaps, yeah. You know what? Perhaps we, where we have been blessed with goalkeepers. You can't be blessed all the time, ladies and gentlemen. Can, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I can I tell you my can I tell you my moments before we move on? Uh, yeah, go on, Chris. Um, I forgot about, I forgot about you. <laughs> I've got a, I've got I've got a moment. Something that always sticks in my mind for a long it has for a long long time is when we won the when we won the uh, the uh, Leyland Duff, right? It was the um, the town hall afterwards. I'm walking oh, up to the town hall. Unreal, yeah, unreal. I, even now, goosebumps. You know, I've never seen that in my lifetime. Yeah, I probably never will again. And, and, but and that why, was incredible. Why, why they didn't do it for the Carling Cup and and for the Premier Don't League? Know. You Don't know, know what? If it had them up the road, they'd have done it. Mm. it yeah. That was yeah. incredible. That was. That was a Fantastic. great moment when that bus came around. That court, I was literally yeah. probably in the middle of the whole square. It was, what the, the moment that bus came, and we're talking of, wow, crying out loud, we're talking of a um, a, li a little team who were getting six thousand a week, yeah, mm -hmm. and you know there were thirty thousand people turn up in that square. Mm -hmm. Where were you every week? I remember I was I was uh, what was I then I was twelve then I remember going with my uncle and my dad and. Um, we got all the way there and my, my uncle drove and I just remember there was a couple of Tranmere fans who said like to each other, are you sure we're playing today? You know, it was just blues <laughs> everywhere. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Would you just yeah, like a yeah. sea of blue, wouldn't it? Everywhere. Yeah. No, there's no tram here. Any, you couldn't see any tram here anywhere. No, no, and that, no. They were, they were in white, weren't they? White kit, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Just, just yeah, remember, yeah. I just remember being in the Blues end and looking up because I was behind the goal with my dad when, when Gail scored, and looking over at the Tramier end, and it's just empty apart from that mm. little pocket at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just uh, it was weird, but um, yeah. First, after first that, after that goal, Mark, after that goal, yeah. mm. that keep right on was just oh, so special, oh, so special, yeah. mm. beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, and. Um, I know I've probably said this a long time ago, but I've said it before. I know that I have. Uh, we turned up in the car and there was a picnic in the boot and one thing or Everybody was eating. I can't eat. I'm too nervous. I can't eat. I'm too nervous. I can't eat. I'm too nervous. Gets back to the car. We just lifted the first trophy I'd ever seen in my lifetime. I says, rub them sandwiches out. We've had them all. All the all the awful goalies are coming out now. Andy Andy Gosney. Oh, not yes, man. yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Richard Richard Kingston. Kingston. Oh, hang on, he's pr- they're, they're probably very nice men. But yeah. yes, personality wise, yeah, it's just goalkeeping wise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, but, a, a, but apart from them, what have the Romans done for us? I was going to say we've only had a handful of bad goals. Yeah, 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 Benno, mm, uh, yeah. the exactly. Latchfords, like going uh, back. Mike Taylor. Yeah, yeah Mike Taylor. Taylor. Oh, Seaman, man. didn't Seaman start a blues yeah. at one point? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very far in his career. Yeah, Joe Hart, Hart, yeah. Joe Hart. Yeah. Uh, Joe even Hart. in more recent years, I used to write Darren Randolph and uh, I, like, yeah. I like Tommy Cush as well. Tommy, <clears throat> Thomas Cush, that was good for us. Well, mm. you know what, you know what, Paul, you saying that, we've never sort of found out the truth about what happened with him. No, he's just just disappeared, didn't he? he Colin he? Doyle, he was another one. Colin Doyle. Colin. Colin Doyle was here for like yeah, yeah, yeah. getting on for 15 years, wasn't he? And 50 years, I think it was, Paul. <laughs> he was back up a lot of the time, but when he, he had that great little purple patch in the championship, I remember, where he saved the penalty at Wolves. And uh, good... Sorry, sorry, I've got it. Jeff Horsfield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah what, a <laughs> what a goalkeeper. Clean sheet. I saw Colin Doyle play centre forward for us against Shamrock. Oh, Rangers. in Ireland. Is yeah. that in Ireland, Ireland? Yeah. Yeah. Pre-season, yeah. I, I, I left home. I left home for that match at ten to five. I got the six o'clock plane to Dublin. <laughs> walked, into, <laughs> walked into the ground at quarter to eight. Uh, and it was something that I've always wanted to do. I had a friend of mine who went. He's an Albion fan. Who went to? He left work at three o'clock in the afternoon. He went to Valencia to see the Albion and was back in his seat the next morning at work. Wow. And I always wanted to e- equal that. And I did. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Mind you, change, change the subject slightly. Have you noticed the last couple of years? I always like it when we're losing the game, when we shove a goal up for a corner. We never seem to do that, do we? No. Mm, no. I don't know why, no, I don't know why no. we don't do that. No. Maybe because we probably, we probably get love from the halfway line. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. You've yeah, got well, a pretty we fit, 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 well, we do. We do have a lot of luck. Most of it's bad, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mind yeah, you, 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 going back to a look, would anyone fancy a cup run this year? To be capable oh. of Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't fancy a cup run. You know what? I'll, 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 listen, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm 60 on Christmas Day. I've never mentioned it before. But to see Birmingham City actually lift the FA Cup, wow. would be, I, 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 I could die straight after. And we'll have a problem with it. Right. <clears throat> Mm. Straight after, no, no bother. That would be life complete. Yeah. Didn't, mm. any, didn't anyone see Ben Foster on his podcast talking about us and his moment winning the cup? And he just oh, said, yeah. We're definitely... yeah, do you see that? He's got an excellent, yeah. I, I watch it quite regularly. Yeah, oh, right. very good. What he, was, what he was saying about the club was fabulous, wasn't it? You know, yeah. he's right. But so we had Ben Foster on. We haven't. No, no, no. no. Mr. No, Mixer, yeah. Ben Foster, please. Ben Foster. Yeah, we'll have that. Work on nice. Ben Foster. Thank you. That would be brilliant. We, we could go on his podcast. <laughs> Yeah, you can wind us all on. I tell you what, okay, let's, <laughs> do, let's do it. Let's, yeah. let's double up. We'll go yeah. on his, he'll come on ours. Yeah, yeah. But no, Home no, Home no we're asleep, you know, we're a sleeping giant, which we are. And you know, if, if we get into the right hands, you know, ownership wise, 
Mm. Then um, one day, you know, we could. Uh, I mean, I, I think I'm 43 in January next month, and oh yeah, I think I've probably seen it as good as it's ever going to be. You know, in that time in the you, early 2000s, and I think you've seen the glory it. days. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think you've yeah, yeah, sport, yeah, yeah. to be honest, you have. Yeah. But I hope I'm wrong. Obviously, I hope I'm wrong. Mm. But I think I think I'm, you, you've I'm, seen them in Europe and uh, seen them in Europe. Cup so, runs, yeah, yeah. Cup. yeah. League so, Cup, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so the same we're going. Sorry, Paul. Uh, saying what Nick said, you know, I'd love to go to an FA Cup final. Oh, oh. you know what? It's got to be the got to be the dream, hasn't it? Right, <clears throat> right. And, and, and only Chris and Alan will know this. All right, the FA Cup when we were kids, and I know I've spoken about this before. Yeah, was a magical, magical event. No matter mm. who was in it. <clears throat> when you were kids at school, you picked one team, mm. and uh, that was the team that you wanted to win. And and the FA Cup went on. For a week before, they would show the towns decorated, this, something like that. And then we had the old guy with his white coat on on the scaffold in the middle, winding the crowd up before the games. Not why jump in a nasty way, like, you know, they can sing louder than you. Da, da, da. And it was just an event. It was an event. And mm. three o'clock, three, not five, Premier League, not five, yeah, or not five, the Football League, not five o'clock, three o'clock. On that Saturday afternoon in May, nobody, but nobody, but nobody was not glued to that TV set for that event. It was mm. incredible. However, when Ipswich were on it a long time ago, and they were trying to send Keith right on to the end of the road, <laughs> that didn't work, did it, lads? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've seen too many losing semi finals. I don't want to see another one. No. Yeah. The, the, the bad thing about that now as well is that that would be at Wembley, wouldn't it? They could, which is at Wembley, yeah. Well, it, yeah, it would be slightly better, you know, being done at Villa Park and Main Road and all, uh, you know. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I just don't think the semi final should be at Wembley. I think no, 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 I, don't don't really, I no. could no. not agree with you more. There is nothing worse in football than having a semi final held at the National Stadium which should be the hallowed ground for those two teams that get there, irrespective of who they are. Yeah, 100%. And, and it's it's yeah. it's not a case of uh, just getting people in. We get more people in if we have Wembley. You could have one at Cardiff and one at Old Trafford, mm. right? And you've, you've got nearly as many as there'll be in the final anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Very true, yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as, either, as anybody... that, either that or Accrington Stanley. Yeah. <laughs> Has anybody ever been there? No, I'd love to go. No, no never. No. Never. <laughs> I think, I think, I think Pete, I think Pete Taylor's at the nail on the head here. Realistically, we don't have the squad to go on a cup run and not struggle in the league, which is mm. pretty bang on, isn't it? Really? No, no I, I get that, Pete. I, I do get that, but the romance of going on that cup run is second to none. It's second to none. Look, I know you younger guys won't remember Alan, Chris, me. Fulham, the oh. romance in that man. Oh my god! And we were just inches away from that final, weren't we? Yeah, yeah we literally even, were. Even in my time, Liverpool in '95, them two games against them were unbelievable. And mm. Leeds, Leeds was the League Cup when he saw it. Was Leeds the cart? Was Leeds the League Cup? Was it when we got to the semi final? Yeah, League Coca Cola. Yeah, Coca Cola. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. FA, yeah, yeah. Cup, FA Cup. So 04, wasn't it? We lost to Sunderland in the. Was it the quarter final we lost to Sunderland? Yes, we would have had it. It would have opened up, I think, if we yeah. had a big yeah. yeah, another yeah. defining moment in my in my life at Blues. Right, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going back sort of 10, 15 minutes. Benno save, penalty save against Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer oh, yeah, the yeah, the yeah. only person to save a penalty against Alan Shearer was yeah. Ian Bennett. Well Did done, I, Ian he's... Bennett. Benno, Benno. We're the only Premier League side he's never scored against. Oh yeah, is that right? Is that right? Yeah. I didn't know that. I wow. didn't know that. Really? There's yeah. loads of stats coming out tonight, isn't there? It's incredible. I know. I'll never yeah. remember any of this in the morning. <laughs> no, I know. I know you won't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jack, Jack, what's been your um what's been your best away day since nineteen ninety four, would you say? No. Obviously not obviously not Millwall. That, they, no, obviously not Millwall. Not Millwall. <laughs> let's, let's, let's not talk about Millwall. Um <laughs> God, best away day. Jeez. I'm going to have to come back on that. I just saw someone on the chat talk about Andy Marriott, and I remember being at White Hart yeah. Lane when uh, Robbo was sat behind him. 
<laughs> just <laughs> make it up, could you? Um, I'll come back to you on that, Paul. I'm just having okay, a no bother. No bother. That's okay, what, what what do people think of this statement from Adam, uh, Adam BCFC Welsh? He says, if we kept Gold, Brady and Sullivan, we'd be a stable Premier team like yes, a West Ham. I totally agree. But I totally fans agree. wanted them out. Totally, yeah, yeah. totally yeah. agree. And yeah. um, unfortunately, on that fateful day, our own supporters destroyed part of their football club. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What the, mm. I think, obviously, let's not forget we've won the League Cup and finished ninth in the Prem since they've left as well. But it was just all after after that rele- It was that relegation that killed us, wasn't it, that same mm-hmm. season? Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, oh, okay. in, in hindsight, it's all in hindsight, isn't it? If we'd, it have is them, it is, yeah. if we'd have known them what we know now, you know, that's just not yeah. the way life goes, is it, unfortunately? No, no, it isn't. No, no, no you're no, dead right, Paul. Bang, no, bang on. No. Uh, 100% agree with that, right? And you know what? They could have stayed with us and we could have got relegated twice. Mm. Well, we did get relegated. Get... Well, no, I meant, I meant, but we did with, yeah. with them. Well, with them here, didn't we? We got relegated mm. anyway. Mm. I've just, I've just thought of the away day. Actually, it's a FA Cup game. Was it five one against Newcastle? Because I went to that game. Yeah. Oh yeah, two thousand seven yeah. was it? Yeah, I just remember we absolutely battered them, and I just yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm much of the day as well. Was it my, it was my, yeah. my favorite? My favorite away game must be against Stoke when we beat them seven nil. Seven nil. Oh, man. Oh, the fun I had up there. <laughs> uh, welcome, Mr. Craig Courtney. Hey. Hello, Craig. Hey. I should have had the applause so. ready, shouldn't I? I just went quick enough. He's only it's got a lot Alberto it, it, Tarantini. It, 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 it. It's not Alberto Tarantini. It's not Alberto Tarantini. You've got one of Ricky Otto's plans behind you there, Craig. Yeah, oh, yeah. So it's oh, close. look at it. <laughs> Growing nicely, look. I've borrowed it. Um, <laughs> God, it looks like it as well. <laughs> How are you doing, Craig? Nice to see you again, mate. I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. Top man, good, good, top good, man. good stuff, top good man. stuff. Yeah, we'll okay, announce late. the end who's coming, by the way. We'll uh, we'll keep people in suspense until then. Uh, it's Alberto. Okay. I know it is. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's not. I don't looks... you can speak a word of English, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody, peeps. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're about 20 minutes or 19 minutes away from shutting off the uh, pile of money on the table, which we do every year. Um, an amazing response. It's brilliant. There's hundreds and hundreds of people having a guest just to try and win a, a beanie at or something. <laughs> <laughs> and a badge. It's, it's part of my Christmas, ladies and gents. It's part of my festive season. And uh, it's, it's, it's brilliant. There's so many people have joined in, but somebody is incredibly close. Somebody is incredibly close. Um, I may not be able to... Uh, announce that at, before the show ends because Sharon was looking at all the things and she's at work tonight. So I may I may take another twenty minutes, half an hour. Okay, to but but that person that's incredibly close, I can't see being beaten. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> uh, they've started Inglisher, having to go Inglisher. as well. Come on, guys! <laughs> England, England, England. <laughs> Craig, down to you. Yeah, you've still got, should we say, fair to say, 15 minutes to purchase any tickets. All you've got to do is message me or email me, craig.courtney at tiltontalk.com, and I'll add you to the list. Um, but we've had a really good response. And once this is drawn, I'll also announce something that we're going to do a little Hang bit on, different. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Go dun, on. Dun, dun. <laughs> 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 we'll do something a little bit different afterwards, um, which will uh, help uh, to support vulnerable children. And uh, I'll come on to that after we've done the England draw. Yeah, Super. that's great. Super. Yeah, well, well, man, Craig Courtney, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you know what, yeah. Craig, you're, you're ace. You're brilliant. You work so hard behind the scenes for us, and we genuinely thank you for all you do, mate. Nick, Nick, steady on. You want to In time, we'll miss afterwards. Nick, Nick, you want to rock? You want to rise? <laughs> you know, she'd obviously understand though, Craig, because your chat up lines work with her as well. So, <laughs> oh, do, do you know, Paul, Paul the, the daft thing is, the first ever date was down at St Andrews watching Ian Benny save that penalty, mate. So, <laughs> hey! what, oh. <laughs> what a man! Yeah. What a man! I, you've gone right up in my estimation, I promise you. You want to know the King of England? <laughs> 
king of it. Is anyone going to um, Martin Granger, Mark Ward, and Liam Dash? Isn't it on the seventeenth? Oh, that'll be a good one, money. That will yeah. be oh, a yeah. good one. It's yeah, a it's yeah. a good night, and they've they've updated this evening. Actually, it's an opportunity for me to shave today, but right. they always do a charity drive yeah. on the night as well, where they've normally got some really good signed memorabilia. Yeah. Um, but all money raised on the night will actually go now towards Arthur's funeral. Uh, um, that's fantastic. So uh, Paul's yeah. announced that this evening. So yeah, encourage anybody. If you fancy it, it's £25 a ticket to meet and greet with all three of them as well. And I think uh, there'll be some fantastic stories. I mean, we've heard what, some what day, what, oh, what day is that, day? It's, uh, it's Friday the 17th of December. And what time? Midway Sports and Social. That's, that's, brilliant. that's where the very fry was. was it a couple of weeks indeed. Ago, wasn't it? Right, mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Friday. Oh, no. You're washing your hair. I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've it's right, um, haven't I, Craig? I've got that right. Haven't I, Ward, Granger, and Daish? Daish, yeah. Granger, and Daish, yeah. So yeah, you it's... think we've had all three, and now we're going to hear their stories up front and in person. Um, Tom's <laughs> comparing it as well, so uh, I think there'll be some great stories coming out that night. It's yeah. Sharon's, unfortunately. You know, you know, young Courtney that came in with and, and swore allegiance to the Blues a few years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's her yeah, 18th yeah. birthday on that night. And is it bloody hell? I'm not going to. I'm going to the Blues. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame you. You've got to get your priorities right. <laughs> um, uh, um, Craig, unfortunately, unfortunately, gentlemen and ladies, I won't be able to be that. Oh, oh that's one I really wanted to go to as well. All right. uh, yeah. Craig, Craig, there's, there's, there's a vigil on next Wednesday. Am I right? Am I wrong? Yes, yes. So okay. on the uh, 15th, um, Linda, Auntie Linda has done a fantastic job of, of rallying people towards this. But uh, on, on Wednesday the 15th at uh, 6.06 is when it will take place. Um, but Linda has spoken to the club and uh, we've got permission to use the cop car park mm -hmm. for a candlelit vigil for fantastic. Arthur. Uh, encouraging everybody to come along and support. Incredible. That's Linda's also nice. going to be selling some candles on the night and money will then go towards a charity which will obviously be chosen uh, by Linda uh, across that evening. Tom Ross is going to come along and support oh, as good. well and we'll be leading the vigil on the night. And Tom, yeah, just a, Tom, an opportunity for us to really show our support and obviously as well as Sapley showing the love for, for Arthur and the horrible, horrible things that happen. But Let's celebrate his life whilst we can. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I don't know yeah. whether you saw Top the start man. of the show, did you, Craig? I did, and it was very, very, very touchy, and I think it's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, a, a lot of comments, I will say, came up on Facebook as that was being shown, mm. saying that they were shedding tears within a couple of minutes. So, uh, yeah. you know, Chris, well done on that. It's absolutely I'll, wicked. I'll, um, I'll put that out as a separate file later as well. So, you know, people can just, mm. they don't have to look at our ugly mugs. They can um, just have a look at that. We have got yeah. one plea. And that is, if we I've have no anybody money. that joins in the show or knows of anybody that actually, as a, as a jar boy in their spare time, dresses up as superheroes, then we'd hey, love them to hey. get in touch. Yes, Nick, yes. You, you don't count. You don't count. <laughs> Nick, you can't, you can't put them underpants on again. <laughs> Chris Brown, I, don't care, I don't care if you do turn them inside out. Chris Brown would do it. He'd be Viagra man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there, there you go. There you go. What superheroes could what superheroes could we be? I reckon if I, I reckon if I painted my head red, I could be Hellboy. Hellboy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you painted your head blue, you could be the blue nose that used to walk on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, I was thinking more of Lex Luthor, mate. You'd make a wicked Lex Luthor. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or if it's a detective, Paul would be Kojak. <laughs> <laughs> lollipop, lollipop. <laughs> okay, so we've got um, we've got uh, what, what's his name in with us tonight? Sam's. Um, oh, for God's Eric, sake! Eric, Fred, um, Jack. <sighs> oh, Jack! He's still there, Jack. I'm still here. I'm still here, boys. Jack. <laughs> no one. <laughs> right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're editing the last half of the show. Has Jack got a doppelganger? Doppelganger for Jack, please. A oh, doppelganger. There we go. It does look like somebody. I know. 
looks like, looks Jack, like Jack, Jack. Tierney. He looks he like looks Jack Stable. He does, yeah. Tierney, yeah. <laughs> he yeah. looks remarkably like uh, a doppelganger Jack. for Jack, ladies and gents. Come on, I know you can do this. Ah. Okay, yeah. He does look like somebody. I'm trying to think who it is. <laughs> Uh, Somebody out of a porn film, I think. It was. That, <laughs> that, that, that I haven't watched. That I haven't watched. Brown. What's that? Did you get your favourite manager in the end? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I mean, I want him. I want him for your one to eleven and your captain and all in your team players. I think that's. I, 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 I did have a favourite manager until he became a Judas. So I'm going to go with uh, Judas. probably 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 Hewton. To be honest, I mean, mm. it's either Brucey or Hewton for me. Yeah, not McLeish. He was he was good when he was here, wasn't he? Just when it got got a bit sour at the end. Um, I still well, respect Cot- him, but I just think Cottrell or Franca, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh there's, there's a shout mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what, what about the bloke that took over for a couple of days? What was his name? Uh, wasn't that Spooner? No, not Spooner. Um... Red nap for about two games. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a disaster that was. Crosby. No, Malcolm Crosby. Crosby, oh, no. that was it, wasn't it? Malcolm was it Crosby, the Middlesbrough yeah. bloke? Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he resided over the 8-0, didn't he? 8-0, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. We're saying, we're saying Hewton then, Jack, yeah? I think, yeah, I'm just thinking, who would I have back? You know what I mean? If, if we're going to yeah. take any of them back. And, yeah, I loved you. And you just didn't get the support, did he, in the end, by the side? No. What about no. Trevor? What about Trevor's tenure when he was there, when he was younger? Again, a lot of my youth was spent watching us try and fail to get out of the league, wasn't it? I mean, we got yeah. out eventually, but it was, it was yeah, it was all right. But I, I don't remember it well enough no. for me. No, no, sure. Making me feel old now, mate. <laughs> just, just realised there's actually a little bit of friend of the show Andy Walker in Jack you know yeah 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 he does look a bit uh, a bit creepy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got him down for a little bit of Robin Williams Nanu Nanu <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can see that. Can, you can see, see that. It, yeah. Can you? yeah, 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 yeah. Can Anybody see else? Because I'm the chat box. Yeah, yeah. can't see him. Uh, somebody, some bloke off Curry, off Curry. Oh, <laughs> mechanic bloke. Albert yeah. Tatlock. No, no, no. No, that's me. I don't, I don't think he's in anyone. Some bloke off Curry. I've watched Curry for about thirty years. No, nah, normally right. I think uh, Il Drogdon was last was last night when I was there watching it. You liked her, didn't you, Chris? I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Those curlers and that little, you know. I, w- I wouldn't kick her out of bed. I was stuck watching Coronation Street in the late 60s when it clashed with Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> that nearly caused a riot, to be honest with you. On oh, the that. streets of London. No, clashing Star Trek and Curry. Star Trek and Curry, yeah. Yeah, at the same time. You know what? The things we talk about on a Birmingham City football club. <laughs> <laughs> thing is, though, yeah. thing is, though, Nick, going back to the 60s on a Monday night, what would you watch? 60s um, on a Monday. 60s on a Monday, Monday night, I'll now. What would you watch? Um, mm. What was that? Ask the Family. Do you remember that one, Alan? Ask the Family, Robin yeah. Robinson. Robin Robinson. Robin yeah. Robinson, yeah, yeah. Well, I, mean, I, they I would had zoom two, in two kids no, the no. right age. I tried to get on, but couldn't. They would mm. zoom in on, on an object. <laughs> You remember? Yeah. Like proper zoom in on it, and you had to guess what that object was. That was my yeah. favourite bit of that program. Um, <laughs> predictions. Doctor Who and the Daleks. Predictions. That was one. Sorry, Zed Nick. cars. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll finish oh. this, Paul. Zed cars. Yeah. What are you up? I hated Zed cars because I used to have to go to bed straight after seven o'clock. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Off you go, Paul. Well, Predic- yeah. Predictions for Saturday, Cardiff at home. Yeah, uh, I think we're going to struggle. I think we're going to scrape a 1 0 win. 1 2. Oh, one, one. one, one. One, one. nil blues. One nil blues. Two, Alan? two nil blues. Uh, right. I'm uh, I'm taking a friend of mine who's uh, a Welshman, um, and he's never seen Cardiff beat Blues, so I reckon uh, one nil. Yeah, one nil blues. I'll go two one blues. Hello. Don't forget to meet again next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for two one blues. Mm. Yeah, I'm hoping that friend comes back into the back three, and I mean nothing Hopefully. again. I think Jeremy Beale has done fantastic at wing back. I really do most of the season, but I think Paul. Pretty... So, sorry, Paul. Do we know if Sarkis should be back? Don't know. I don't know. But I, I don't. I, I mean, Ed, Ed, I'm all right with Everidge anyway. To be honest, we've got two good goalies. Let me to be fair. We're all yeah. right there. 
Yeah. Um, I, there was a there was a lot of I, I read on on various tweets that Blues fans was getting on at Eldridge saying he was rubbish. Well, the, I, I saw the highlights, but from what I saw, he was at no fault with any of the goals, and huh? he made three blinding saves. He could have got beat six. Yeah, and, and, for him. and, and there was there was one website that always regurgitates these criticisms. You know, fans mm. fans say this about their player and all. Name that. a shame. Name a shame. And uh, <clears throat> I thought, well, I was surprised, I mean, especially the why would Blues fans criticise him after what he's gone through yeah, first exactly. game of the season? Yeah, exactly. uh, and mm. of course, when I saw the highlight, I mean. He, he wasn't a certainly. I mean, I, I, I could tell you a few people that were at fault with all the goals, but he certainly yeah. wasn't. And, and yeah. he, he pulled out some great saves. Well, he'll yeah. he'll be up, to be honest, Alan. He'll be up for it against his old club, won't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Neil Etheridge, it's good to have you back. It's great. To, it yeah. was great to see him back. <clears throat> yeah. Great yeah. to see that he was back in, the, in in goal again for us. You know, after what yeah. he went through, and uh, I just think that's where we're at at the minute. The season. You know, and it is progress, like I keep saying, you know, we're gonna look we're gonna win one, we're gonna lose one, we're gonna win a couple, we're gonna lose maybe three on the trot again, and then we might win three on the trot again. <laughs> so it's just gonna be a, a um a turbulent season this season. Um, but you know, it is trans it's a transitional period. And hopefully as long as we keep continue to improve every season upon season, then in two or three years from now, you know, you never know where we're gonna be, do you? And I think well, we've what... probably seen goal of the season. In a game, we lost 3-1 in because what a goal from Dini. Both yeah, the set, set oh, up yeah, and class. finish. Top class. class. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. The, and the kid James set it up. I know it was a great flick by um, Hogan, but yeah. it was, it was, the, it was the, the lad that set it up, knocking the ball in and a whoop, 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 goal. Fantastic. Uh, you thought you might. When you do that, you think you're, you're, you're in the game now, aren't you? You, you? And then we go and give another one away. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem, and it we got caught on the break. And to be fair to their player, he took it well, didn't it? The third one, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. So I just, for me, I just want to make sure that if you know, because we are probably going to have another bad spell this season, it's going to happen, yeah. and I just yeah. don't want to see the fans get on the backs. You know, it's not how you lift the team spirit. You know, you've got to get behind them every yeah, time. I, I, win, I, lose, I, agree, I, I really agree, mate. I promise you. But like, mm. I just, I just think we've had like eleven years of this now, and you know what. It's what we signed up children. for, mate. It's what we signed up for. Yeah, I know, I know, exactly. I know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, you're taking your children along to see the Blues, which I applaud and I absolutely love that. And my granddaughter went to a first game last week, yeah, when we won against Blackpool. And, mm. you know, you see all these kids walking around the streets of Birmingham with, like, Manchester United, Liverpool, Barcelona mm. shirts on. That, that destroys me because, like, support your own, you know. Yeah. I think the club are doing a great job again, though, at the moment of trying to get the families and the kids into the ground. I mean, to have reduced prices the weekend. I know it's the last one before mm-hmm. Christmas and it's tough times anyhow. But then the games after Christmas, the kids for a quid again. Brilliant. Mm. Let, let, let's pack the place out. Let's get the kids down there. And- we, can't, we can only, at the minute, Craig, we can only pack half the place out. But yeah, I was going to ask that, Nick. Does, do we know of any updates on when the lower and... Lower I, I was going to ask that, Paul, and I know nothing. I promise mm-hmm. you I know nothing. And we're not an investigative, like, kind of journalism kind of show, if you know what I mean. We're here to have a laugh and talk talk to Brummies about Brummie issues. Yeah. And uh, we don't we don't preempt or, or surmise anything. If it's happened, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. But we mm-hmm. don't, Can we I just don't, say... Sorry, yeah, Nick, we, I, well, sorry, we I'm, don't go out there to actively look for information. We never no. have done, and we never will do. Go on, man. It's just, it's just dawned on me who Jack reminds me of. Remember Kevin Miller, our goalie? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Kevin Miller. <laughs> Jack, Jack, speak so we can all see your face on Zoom. I'm, I'm here. I, I don't know who that is, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go on nah. Zoom after this. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I've still got him down from Auckland, Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> just, just getting back to this eleven years. Yeah. The, the the team Jack picked for his all time. Most of them would have played in the same team. Mm. Yeah. That that the side that he picked mm-hmm, mm-hmm. was almost what we could have put out. And you know, in the Premier League com- as well. Com- like in the Premier League, and yeah, you compare yeah. those names with the greatest respect to what we've got now. You know, it's it's a planet apart, isn't it? It's just yeah. just mm-hmm. different world. Yeah, 
Yeah, and this is what's making me think I've seen it as good as it's ever going to be, you know. No, Paul. But, I think you're right. Paul, Paul. no. Nah, nah, you never hey, know. You, I, I, I know, right. You know what? Tomorrow is always another day and you've always got to be optimistic about what could happen. Yeah. Um, and you, you you don't know, I don't know whether the club be... I mean, listen, if we were taken over some by some multi-billionaires and they could, I don't know, just... I don't, just Give us a free pie or something like that. <laughs> 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 even if you just said to a man, sorry, if you just said to a man, fan, fifteen years ago, this is where they're going to be now. Man City, I can remember Man City in Division Three, mate, yeah. not so long ago, and Chelsea, mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. not so long yeah. ago, right? Nicky yeah. Weaverin, the, the future could be bright because we are the second city and we bear the name. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Paul, just... just okay, to... it's a quarter to nine. Sorry, sorry, Alan, you go okay, first. Okay, you carry friend. on. No, I've told oh, you to carry on. <laughs> carry on! <laughs> carry okay. on! I was going to say that Paul was, having watched him in eight decades, right, yeah. I can promise you that we've had, at least in that time, we've had at least three or four periods like this, and worse, and we've always come back. 60s were terrible, 50s were great, 60s were terrible, 70s, ask people my age, that was the best team they'd ever seen, you know, the Latin, Hatton and Latchford and Francis and all that business. And then it went down again. And then it came back. I mean, early 90s, when we, we, we got, as, as Nick said earlier on, we was getting five and 6,000. Oh, big oh, crowd in the Blues. Lane, Lane we had 6,000 this week. <laughs> yeah, we, oh, we we had double figures. We had 10,000 okay, one, one week in South End, and the place was rocking. Everybody. Mm, mm. So, Alan, Alan, Alan. Don't, it was still don't rocking. despair. It was still rocking, Alan, with 6,000 in the place. Oh, yeah. yeah right? Yeah. That old cop, and I'll tell you, I was up there with my air on every, every goddamn week, mate. I was there. You know what? Willingness to do well and knowing that we probably wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Alan, though, um, I mean, you've been around since 1875, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> and uh, you probably... Born the year after. <laughs> Sorry. So okay, just okay, okay no. Just we one... are... Ne- go, yeah, Alan, go on. No, just, just one quick question for Jack. So you're, what, what are you now? How old was you, Jack, when we won the League Cup? 21. So you was 21 when we won the League Cup. So you're 31 now then. So, you're, so n- we're the only club where a 31-year-old fan... Who's thirty-one now? Can remember <laughs> in the West Midlands days that can remember watching us, you know, seeing their club win a trophy, a major trophy at Wembley. Mm. So that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, got it, mate. Yeah. Well done. Absolutely. You just wor- you just worked that out all on your own. I did. <laughs> Not a calculator, here. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Okay. Paul. 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 Uh, Pythagoras oh. theorem. Theorem, not theory. Explain. Explain that. <laughs> Pythagoras theorem. Huh? Pythagoras theorem. It's Pythagoras like, theorem. It's like a oh, it's where two sides of a triangle equal the square. Uh, right, okay. no, I've got I thought that, I thought I was, that was taught pie. in school about 45 million, 65 million, million, a long time ago. Anyway, we're into the last 15 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. And right, because I have no access to another device, um, I'm going to cut off the coin thing at the end of the show, exactly nine zero 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 zero, right? Okay. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, anything to do with football and a hardware shop, a hardware shop, anything to do with football and a hardware shop, make me laugh, ladies and gents, because I deserve to laugh because, you know, I'm rather old. Not as old as Chris Brown, but I'm rather old. Here's, a, here's another fact. I have never seen Blues lose at Wembley. No, well, me. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic, yeah. isn't it? What a great fact. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen, I, right, here's another one, Chris. I've never seen Blues lose a Grimsby. Oh, I have. <laughs> 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 and, and I turned up one, I turned, I drove to Grimsby on my own, and when I got out the car, the, ga- the game was off. It's a oh, shame that you've got no friends, isn't it, Alan? Hey? <laughs> fantastic, isn't it? A shame that you've got no friends, you know, you drive up there on your own. <laughs> well, actually, actually, I met I met up with some friends, and they said, "Have you heard?" I said, "Heard what?" Sits off. I said, "No, can't be." And it was the, I was we were sitting in, in McDonald's outside the ground, and it was it was called off. And I went and had a look, and the, the goal one goal area 
the, the water was two foot up the post. Wow. Yeah. How far back we going here? Uh, well, when did we used to play Grimsby? It was During in the, the war, wasn't it? Uh, in the Tour of France, yeah, history, early, yeah. early 90s, early wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> late 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. 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 Okay, so here's my story about Grimsby. I was at work on a, a Friday afternoon, right? And there was a guy, bless him, he was as funny as hell. Mick Bennett, his name was, right? My ex wife came in. I said, right, I'm going to the Grimsby Blues game tomorrow. And this is January, January, right? Mick says, Oh, Grimsby's lovely. Why don't you take the wife and kids? I knew what he, I knew what he was on immediately. And I said, you're very welcome to come to Grimsby if you want not tomorrow. I'm going to the Blues. And I think my children were like, probably too young to go to the games at the time. Like two and two, uh, two and one, right? Yeah. He said, Grimsby's lovely. Oh, he said, you should see the seafront and everything there. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Well, she decided to come to Grimsby with me, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Hi. And Ooh. it was blowing an absolute gale. And uh, I gave her the car keys. I went off to Grimsby. I've got no fags. Another Birmingham City fag gave me a fag, right? Because I'd, I'd forgotten mine. I left them back in the car. And it was a force, I don't know, 10 gale or something like this. And the waves were just gone. <laughs> 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 she, she stood there with the children. She'd got the car keys. And she sat for three and a half hours in the car watching. Because Mick Bennett had told her that Grimsby was a nice place. <laughs> I love Mick Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything to do with football and a hardware shop? Hardware shop. Okay. Right. Here we go. Here we, here we go. We've got uh, uh, Where's Hard at Harding? Oh. Uh, uh, Niall Quinn. Niall Quinn. Niall Quinn. 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 Yeah. Quinn. Uh, the Hammers. Mm. Niall, F- Niall Effridge. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Phillips screwdriver, <laughs> uh, Chris <laughs> Chris Wood, Gary Gary Tack Oh God! Art of Spirit level, uh, Nicky butt plugs. Oh God! Oh, stop! No. She's done it again. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it! Stop no, it! No. Who did that one? I can't say. She did it last can't time. Uh, uh, Violet Stone, uh, oh. Thomas the Hammer, Hitzelberger. <laughs> Uh, hard as nails, Kenny Cunningham, uh, Nigel Tackman, and then we're brought. That's it. We got right up to uh, speed. What about, right, Jerry, okay, so, what, what about Jerry Drill? Jerry, Jerry Drill, Drill. Jerry good Drill. one. Oh, good Jerry, one. Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> what about uh, Lucas Jigsawvich? Oh, good one. Oh, that's a good one. Have you just thought, oh. thought that? Right? I mean, no, that's not bad. Is yeah, it? That's just off the top of me. Good. God. <laughs> You got more out of the poor Lipkiss, mate. That didn't come off the top of the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only slightly more. Yeah, that's it. He's going. Are you, Jack? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not sharp at all. Good one's coming through. Uh, like Obafemi Martins of paint. I like that one. Uh, uh, drill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, drill Merrick. Who did no, you Jason, Jason Hughes. Jason oh, okay, Hughes. He does some. He does do some. Uh, Viv Solomon Ottersall. Oh, uh, <laughs> Gary Gardner Gloves. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We're up to speed now. Yeah. Okay. Awful. I tell you what. Shall I? Uh, we, we've got to the past of the. Yes, we I've, have. I've yes. Got all the numbers Get- in. Brilliant. Come on, and, then. Uh, I uh, can... Sorry, sorry, Craig. Ladies and gentlemen, the numbers are in. The votes have been counted. There are no more votes. Over to Craig. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, <laughs> that was terrible, that one. That's I can, that it's it's which, it's uh, bit, no, hang on. Which bit? The best I could do. Chris's? Best I could do, that was. Sorry? Which, which bit? Mine or Chris's? Well, you know, you're all right, Nick. You're getting there today. I mean, you're taking your time, but you're getting there. But Chris is just well I take behind. I because I'm sick of yeah, Christmas sorry. now. I've never mentioned it before. <laughs> Go on, Craig. Okay, over 65. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I can confirm we sold 268 tickets. Well done, Nick. Well, well done. So well done to everybody, and thank you for that. And he hits the button on the machine. I can confirm that number uh-uh. two... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Number two hundred and forty-four 
It's me! Is the number. Go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Congratulations to... Craig Courtney! <laughs> no, but it's close to home. Congratulations, Paul Hipkiss. You oh, are the no way! No! Yeah. No! What? Oh, that you're is... Mr. Fixer. You're Mr. Fixer. I see That's what you've it. Done there, Mr. Mate. Fixer has fixed it for Mr. Hipkiss. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, right. Paul, well done, mate. Well done. <sighs> Paul, you get... uh, if you're at the game on Saturday, I'll meet you beforehand and ring it, mate. Nice Why'd one, you... mate. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that organised. Oh, there you go. Paul. Paul. Got... When you've got that, we want to see it on that wall behind you. You know what, Nick? You've just beat me to it. I've got enough room over here. Um, just next to Stephen Carr to put it there as well. I'll get it framed. Yeah, brilliant. So, go, see, yeah. see, Paul, it was worth buying them two hundred pounds worth of tickets, wasn't it? <laughs> you, bro, even how, many, we... how, many tickets, how many tickets did we sell? Two hundred sixteen. <laughs> yeah, I bought, he, he, bought he bought two hundred sixteen. <laughs> he bought two hundred sixteen. <laughs> no, fifteen. No, no, I bought one. Yeah, I bought uh, one. <laughs> um, oh, just an opportunity to shame something that yeah. We've, yes. we've taken a little bit of a change in stance. We normally give it, give money that we raise to our direct charities, but we are now running a, a raffle, which has been going as well for breakfast with two of the players from the current squad and an opportunity to meet the rest of the squad, which is at the end of the season. And oh, what a shame. Breakfast. Breakfast. What a shame it's not older players. We could have had an Andy Egg. <laughs> Nick's definitely on a case today. Well, I'm probably on a case. <laughs> yeah, what we're going to do, though, is 50 pence a ticket, a strip of five for two pounds Ooh. to get you into the draw. Oh, you. Yeah. I'm sorry, I thought you were stripping. Oh, really? oh terrible. <laughs> um, all funds raised will go to Childline um, to help you know, support those other vulnerable children that are out there uh, as much as we possibly can. So please, if you're interested in tickets, contact me and we will arrange that. And the draw will take place on our Christmas show, which... Da, da, da. I just blew my speakers. <laughs> yeah, is not with Nick's player, as he oh, thinks. Right, okay. <laughs> um, is... With the one and only Malcolm Page, and he'll be Whee! joining you from the studio. <laughs> Who are you? Oh. You, could have, you could have him in a hardware shop, Craig Malcolm Gage. Gage. Ah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. Who are we? Right then, Nicholas. Yes, sir. I need you to wrap the show up because we've got a very long outro. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, bearing your city fans across the world, this has been an emotional one, and it's been a difficult one. But with the great work that the people have done and are doing and will do, it won't change anything, but it could help make a difference for somebody else. This, my lovelies, has been the Total Talk Show. Good night from you, Chris Brown. Good night. Paul, eh? Hipkiss. Paul Hipkiss. Good night, everyone. My good friend from down south, Alamon. He's a lot older than me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. Bless you, Alan. You're a great man. I love you. I love you. I promise you, mate. I love it. Mark Andrew Adams with his red. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice what's, what's the other bloke's name? Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. I, I don't know. I, I do know, mate. I'm only, I'm only telling you. Right. Jack, thanks for being with us on the Talk Show tonight, mate. It's been great to have your opinions and your, your little stories and uh, your doppelganger. Uh, we do it to everybody every week, mate, so don't worry about it. Jack. Thanks for having me on. Uh, Good night, everyone. That's all right. <laughs> it's your last show, don't worry. Cheers, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cruel. It's like we've got a minute, a minute to go. Is there anything else coming through on the... On the... Uh, we've got D Dion Orbital Sanderson. Mm. Uh, Walter Wallpaper Pandini. Nicky Florster. <laughs> uh, Jeff Jeff Hosefield yeah, and being Frank being Frank Quadru Matt Sander Taylor Lee Campfire and that's your lot. No, we've got no, no hot chocolate. No, no. The no. first the first time I think in oh, I don't know maybe two uh, eighteen months certainly with no, nothing to hot chocolate right. 
but never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Children Talk Show dedicated to that lovely, lovely, lovely. Come to